You know, it's great to be in this building, actually, the Woodruff Art Center here, home of the Alliance Theater, the Symphony Hall, and the High Museum. You know, I spent a lot of years here, like 10 or 11 years, as artistic director of the Alliance Theater. But I've called Atlanta home since I attended Clark Atlanta University here back in the late 70s. So it's great now that I'm home in Atlanta, in Georgia, doing a world premiere of a musical comedy, Trading Places, the musical, inspired uh, by the film. Uh, of course, I think it's nothing like the film, but it's inspired by the film. It's funny like the film. It has, it has music that the film doesn't have. So it has ballads, it has uh, up-tempo numbers. Fatima Robinson, who did the, the Super Bowl choreography and also did The Wiz Live with me, is here doing the choreography for this world premiere. Uh, but to open it here, and then present it to the world after here. So we'll go to Broadway and to the UK and wherever we're gonna go with this. But the first thing is to have, we have an opening right here in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's great to be home and it's great to be doing what I love to do. What I love about a new musical, it's like, it's like giving birth to a kid. You know what I mean? So it's like the world hasn't seen it and you're shaping it and you're working with uh, collaborators that some of them I haven't worked with before but it's beautiful to be in a room with uh, 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 Alan Zachary and, and Michael Werner who are just amazing composers and Tom Lennon from Reno 9-11 fame who's written a funny funny book but the whole team is great so working on something new is like you get to shape it you get to change it and you also get to shape it uh, with the actors because they're creating it the first time the world would see it. And sometimes creating is better than recreating. You know, this has been uh, this is an exciting time for me because we've been in a rehearsal hall for four and a half weeks and with tape on the floor. We're trying to imagine the costumes and the props. And, and then this week we transferred uh, to the stage in what we call Tech Week. Uh, some people think it's like watching paint dry. But for me, it's like, it's the most exciting time job, because you're actually just layering on every element leading up to that theater being full of human beings sitting there to see this work for the first time. Uh, I'm, I'm inspired by that film to dig deeper into humor, politics, life on the planet. So I said, if I can look at that through my 2022 eyes, you know, then I could see a way in. So what we've done with this play is like, you know, by having a narrator at the beginning, that person is in 2022. And he says, so let's look at ourselves in 1983. How far have we come? Also, I, 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 I took the name of the, of the film, Trading Places. I said, wow, what if we were really to trade places with each other, just for five minutes? What if black people could trade places with white people? What if heterosexuals could replace with homosexuals? What if uh, I could play, trade places with this transgender person? What, you know, uh, what if in whatever imaginable way that makes us different from each other, you know what, if we can just trade places with each other without judgment, with love, that could be a beautiful thing. So I metaphorically made the whole musical comedy about that. So I think once people sit in those seats, uh, they, won't, they won't think about the film. They'll think about what does this have to do with my life today? And when it's over, I think they'll go home and wanna meet somebody that's a little different than they are. Uh, to understand that we all bleed the same blood and, and I've, I've concluded that if we just, if you're kind and respectful of every different and not judgmental, 
be a much more beautiful world.